Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews Unboxing. If you're not familiar with this type of episode that you're about to see, basically I save everything I've been sent in the previous month and unbox it in one big video. So these videos are a bit long, but you'll get to see some really unusual stuff unboxed. I mean, I get sent some really cool stuff as well, but I also get sent some rather odd things. Before I begin though, I wanna say a massive thanks to all my current patrons. Without you guys, I could not do Stu's reviews. I also wanna do a standout thanks to my four new patrons. We've got Jared, Alexander, Henry, and in the silver tier, Uday. You'll have your Stu's Reviews t-shirt and jammy bag in the post to you very, very soon. With that said, let's crack on. Actually, no. I want to address something that was brought up in the last unboxing that I did. Now I have here two comments from two individual people regarding my attitude in the last video. The first one was from Martin, which says, there's far too much disrespect to people who send you their wares, including constantly bemoaning that people send you free earphones uh, that many normal people would be grateful for. Well, I want to address this firstly, because this episode is about me quickly reviewing pretty much everything I've been sent. Now, I could not do these episodes and just show you all the things that I think are really, really good, which I do in all of the green colored episodes, which are the regular review episodes. But these ones are about my cynicism and my disdain towards some of the products. And in respect to the comment that you made about earphones, I'm not bemoaning that people send me headphones. I'm bemoaning the fact that people send me headphones. But I appreciate the feedback and I will try and be a little bit more respectful to people's products. And the second comment is by His Holiness Father Michael. Uh, and Father Michael says, I've never seen such a small channel complain so much before. So apparently because I'm a small channel and only have 20,000 subscribers, I'm not allowed to complain. Well, I am very sorry, our Lord and Saviour Father Michael but I'm gonna continue complaining as much as I goddamn want because it's called Stu's Reviews and not Father Michael's Reviews. Let's crack on. Number one, I've got a box here that says Olight. So what are we gonna start off today's episode with? Oh, oh, okay, what's this, what's that? Okay, we've got a box, I've got a sticker that says Olight. I have a piece of Velcro that says Olight, all good so far, and I have a Olight Seeker 2. Hmm, okay, it's a torch. 3,000 lumens. That's quite a small torch with 3,000 lumens. Let's have a look. It's not necessarily tech-related, but I'm supposed to be being respectful. Okay, uh, ooh. That is quite a weighty object. Okay, well. Turn off studio. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I mean, that's not bad. It's quite a little torch. Can I turn the brightness up? That's the big question. But that is, I must say, an extremely bright torch. Jesus Christ! For the size. I mean, you can see how bright that is because I've got studio lights on and that is still blinding me. It's not exactly tech related, but it's a good start. How do I turn this off? Well, the charge is cool. It's a USB charger and it's magnetic. Way, hey, look at that. Well, that is the best torch I've ever used. 10 out of 10. Next, we have an envelope. Don't get many envelopes. Okay, we have some more phone loops. Now, I've been sent some of these before and they are pretty cool. Basically, they go on the back of your phone so that your hand slips through and it creates like a strap. I have used one. I haven't got one currently on my phone because I have changed my case very, very recently to a more sustainable option, which I'll go into in a review very, very soon. It's a company called Peeler. But these are great. They've sent me a floral one, which I'll never use, another floral one, which I'll never use. Can't touch this, which I quite like. Blue ducks, I like that one. And probably my favorite, yes, look at that. Leopard print, because everyone loves leopard print. That is beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. Axe Lowy. Okay, headphones. Well, last episode I was fortunate enough not to have any headphones, so this episode I'm expecting lots. But the packaging on this looks really quite cool. 
Is that respectful enough? That's some interesting packaging. Does it open like this? Oh, okay. Well, that's typical Chinese stuff, that is. If you look at the slogan on the back, it says, My Dream Supporter. Bad Chinese translation there. Well, I must say that I do like that packaging. That's quite nifty. Okay. Uh, plastic's a bit light on that. I think that could be something that could quite easily get broken. I'll come back to those because those I think are going to want to be charged for a little while. So let's pop these back in there. Oh! What do you know? More headphones. Bye. Bowmaker. Oh, actually, Bowmaker. They ring a bell. Why do they ring a bell? Were they the ones that sent me the soundbar? I was really, really impressed with. Last episode? Am I in the last episode? Okay, cool. Right, let's have a look at these then. Okay, that. It's very nice. That is a sort of matte design there. Very straightforward. Oh, that is beautiful. That's really nice. I really like that. Okay, let's get these paired up and have a listen. Right. Ooh. Not the most comfortable. A little bit, oh, a little bit too far inside my ear for my taste. Uh, but they do well to block out the sound, actually, I will say that. Very, very deep bass. Very deep bass. Okay, yeah, very good. And they paired no problem. There was no issue with that at all. This is what take one out. Okay, so the music's carrying on. Yeah. Wow, these are actually really good. Yeah, really actually very good. And just looking at the box as well, they are IPX7 waterproof as well and have up to 24 hours battery life. So actually, very good, automatically stopped and we're good to go. I really like those. I'm gonna give those a really solid nine out of 10 actually, maybe eight out of 10 for the comfort, not the most comfortable I've ever used, but actually the sound was very good and the design of the whole product itself, I really like. So eight to nine out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 to compromise. What have we got? More audio stuff, but this time by Tribit. Now you might recognize that name because I have featured some Tribit stuff on my channel before, and that is because it was exceptional. It was the Tribit Max Boom, and it was a waterproof speaker, and I took it snorkeling with me, and it still works. So, this appears to be a smaller version of it, sort of. So, let's play the same song from where we left off. Clarity's good. Turn it up a bit. It's not as good as the other ones I've tried. I don't think the bass is quite as rich. Still good for a small speaker though, but doesn't quite have the bass that the other Tribit speakers have tried have had. Uh, but that's a nice little thing. It's much smaller anyway, you know, so I mean, not sure what you can expect from such a small speaker. Uh, overall good. Bass is a little bit lower than what I expected. I don't even know where to start with this because it's completely yellow wrapped. But I mean, I think there's two things in here. Android TV projector. Ooh, oh, I'm excited about this. This is by a company called XGimme. God knows how you're supposed to say that in the UK. Uh, but what's special about it is it's got Chromecast built in, it's got Google Assistant built in, and the speaker is by Harlan Cardon. 
and this will make it to review. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to get everything out in this particular episode. I'm just going to have a look at it though and see what that looks like. That is a nice design. What is that? That is... Oh, it's a 3D printer. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. Wow. This looks cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. This is the Easy 3 Nano. And this is basically a pre-built plug and play 3d printer which is basically designed for kids but also people like me who are inept to pretty much anything to do with 3d printing but obviously for obvious reasons impractical to try it out in this unboxing video so let's move on okay good green minus points already for whoever has sent me this because this is a ridiculous amount of plastic packaging. You're going to end up in a landfill. What was the point in this? Oh my god. I need a break from that. Jesus. Right, okay. Trunjin 2. Trunjin It's an unusual name. But it's headphones. Trunjin 2, which is hard to say. Well, let's have a look. Oh, these are by Soundpeats. Okay, well, I've tried Soundpeats headphones before, actually, and they have been rather good. Soundpeats, if you're watching this, stop using plastic in your packaging. That was unnecessary. And then you wrap the product in more bloody plastic. Okay, first impressions plastic but it's not single-use plastic at all does feel a bit flimsy a bit sharp on the edges there not too fussed about that but these are like a really interesting design you can actually see inside these see how they're wearing it on the side right well actually they're quite comfortable let's see if I can pair these up with these so it said connected, whether or not it actually is connected is another thing. Let's start the song from where we left off. Okay, not impressed on the first usage. Let's try a different song and have a listen to that. It's almost like they've got no bass. Very low bass, anyway. The bass isn't very heavy. It's a little bit and not very clear. No. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Sound Peaks. I think you've missed the mark a little bit on that one. Quite a shame, because I think they had quite good uh, design. I hate to be disrespectful, but I also, at the same time, can't recommend these to you. Okay, next one. Okay, well it appears that I've been sent four fans. Right, might as well get these out of the box. Plastic. Well that's quite cool. Ooh. That's quite a powerful fan actually. Okay. Not quite as powerful, but neat. Sits on your desk. Very nice. This one looks quite cool. Spiral wind. Ah, oh, well, not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping for sort of 
the Dyson-esque experience. But that does look like quite a nice, neat design. Ah, oh, it's touch sensitive on the bottom. Again, doesn't quite feel as powerful as the first one. Yeah, it has USB, you can sit on your desk. That's not that bad. That's pretty good, but not as powerful as again. The first one that I tried, that handheld one, was the best so far in respect to power. Bit of a different packaging. Oh, Jesus, come on, more bubble wrap. Well, this is like a retro-esque thing. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's going faster. No, that's as fast as it gets. Okay, well, they are certainly fans. Are they tech? Well, I'm gonna let you decide that. I don't really think they're very techy at all. They're just USB fans. I mean, if you're looking for a desk fan, which one would I recommend? Probably this one, actually. As always, I'll leave a link in the description below for all of these, so you can check them out yourself. I'm excited for this, I don't know what it is. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. I love big things. There's not a euphemism there. No? Oh, what is this? Something by a company called Wopet. An automatic pet feeder for cats and dogs. Welcome back to another episode of Things I Get Sent for some weird reason. I mean, it's not like I've ever done a review on any pet stuff before. Ever. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, God, what in the name of all that is holy by Father Michael? That is a face and a half. I mean, cats do look like that, genuinely. I wonder if this could feed me automatically every day, like feed me like food. Wow. I mean, the settings on this look mental. It really, really has got a ton of settings. But I must say, the choice of face for this cat is bizarre. Really bizarre. That is an angry, angry cat. Overall, though, it feels quite cool. Whoa, pet. Not sure on the name of the... Uh... But it comes with a UK plug, that's a good sign. Well, okay, overall, I'm not going to try this out. Partly because I don't have any pet food. Uh to hand anyway. I don't really eat it. But I am going to keep it there because I think that is the face of this episode. Okay. What have we got? Lumery! Okay, we've got a smart LED strip. All right, let's... Oh, God. Do you know the last one smelled as well? I don't understand why these things smell so much. Go, in you go, oi, there we go. Well, that's bright. Cycles through the colours. Oh, well, they're quite nice. I'll just set my eyes. Right, I'm going to have it on green and I'm going to sort of drape it all around here like that. Oh, dear me. Right, we're back in business. How does that look? Absolutely terrible. I think as well these work with Alexa. Okay, they've got an app that can connect to, isn't it, the Alexa and stuff. Okay, cool. Well, smart lighting, not bad. Don't know how much they are. That would depend on, obviously, whether or not these are worth it. But, as far as it goes, they're not bad. What do you think? Do you like those? Langogo. This is an AI translator. Well, that's quite nice. Oh, starting up. Got a little AI symbol there. I like the way this looks, though. This is a neat looking thing. And I think it's USB C as well. Yes, it is. Oh, good. And I'm going to translate to. I don't know. I think I have quite a lot of German or Danish. We'll do Danish followers. There we are. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. It seems really quick. I like this. This is quite cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Isn't that cool? Glem Iki at Lide Ok Abonnea. 
Okay, well let's see. Oh dear, no, hold on. It's been it's giving me a bug and it's coming up with an issue. It's coming up with an error. It's got Chinese writing on it. Don't know what to press. I'm gonna say okay. Is that okay? Oh, what's it done? It's got a loading symbol now. Right, I appear to be back after that bizarre scenario. Oh, I have to pay for global Wi-Fi. Four dollars and eighty cents per day. It's quite expensive, but I guess I could use if I had roaming on my phone i could join the wi-fi network on my phone but then if i've got signal on my phone there's no po um does this have a place in today's connected world with things like your phones mm, it does have an offline mode so it must be able to download something well overall i'm gonna have to put this away now because i spent too long on this but actually i must say i really like this device it's quite fun so i might come back to this one overall i'm going to give it a seven out of ten for the moment it may change later on depending on whether or not I can do offline mode and download the language and stuff, but we'll see. This one, which is remarkably light. I've been sent air, a bag of notes. What in the God's name? just gets weirder and weirder. Okay. This looks really interesting. Actually, I remember the email that I was sent about this. This is the Thronmax M-Drill 1. Very strange name. Very strange name. It Go away. Ooh. Very strange name indeed. Hit me. Woo, that was close. Wow, this looks like a beast. That is such a cool looking mic, I will say that, for starters. Little bit plasticky, I mean, I'm used to using the uh, Yeti Blue, which is currently over here, which is the one I basically record all my sound off. That is solid metal, so this feels a little bit plastic on the top there, but actually, it is a beautiful design. That seems like it's a heavy duty thing. Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna reset all this and I'm gonna record some audio from that. So I've set this up and I've just realized that on the bottom, at the moment, by the way, I'm recording audio still from this. On the bottom is this awesome light, which is like an ambient light. So I think this is definitely designed for people who are certainly recording their setup. Turn off studio. I've got everything set up and you've probably realized that I'm wearing some green cat ears. And that's because I realized that this has like a matching green thing on the bottom there. So I thought I'd wear my gamer headphones and have a listen to the audio coming off it. Right, let's first of all record some audio. Ooh, that sounds a bit rough. I'm gonna start recording the audio on this. Not yet because it's completely off. Now, there we go. No now okay so this is on what are we on now this is on let's turn to oh there we go that's nice down down put the game down oh well i think that sounds really quite nice i don't know if it's a bit peaky it might be but i think it actually sounds quite nice coming through this ASMR. And if anyone wants to subscribe to Stu's Reviews ASMR, you can do in the link below. I'm going to kiss your ears now. Right, let's have a listen back to how that sounds. But I think it actually sounds quite nice. Come Bit peaky. ASMR. Reviews ASMR. You can do. Cuts the noise out really well. 
right, that's enough of that. I am bit peaky at points, but I think that's just my settings that I've got this on at the moment. I must say that this has the potential to be a fantastic mic, but I haven't got the time to play around with it endlessly now to get it right. But I'm actually genuinely impressed. Right, we've only got a few more packages left, so let's crack on in. We have... Empow headphones, Empow. That is a lovely case that comes with that. Mm, very soft. Bit plasticky, but there's a smoothness to them that you don't get normally. Usually pretty awful matte style now, although these feel a little bit ooh, breakable. Oh, I don't think they've got charge. Okay, they've not got charge, so I can't come around to reviewing these at the moment. So I'm not being disrespectful. I just can't review them because they haven't got charge and I'm not going to be waiting around for hours and hours and hours for them to have charge so you may or may not see those in a future video. Mystery box. Motorcycle Bluetooth headsets. That is very, very, very specific. I've never reviewed anything to do with a motorbike, and in fact, I don't ride those death traps either. I mean, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to review this. It's just one, so I can't even test out. So I think it's supposed to be like an intercom type thing. Okay, well, not to be disrespectful, but whomever has sent me this, obviously hasn't even taken a look at the channel. Because although that is relatively gadgety, I've never reviewed anything to do with motorbikes before. Ever. Last two now, I believe. More headphones! Wow, today we are saturated with headphones. But today is about being respectful. These are by a company called Pros, the Pros TWSO2. Blech. I'm getting tired now. Okay, plasticky, but mm, still, th this is the problem with it. This bit just feels like it could break very easily. Oh, yes. Oh, I mean, oh, no. It's a shame there's no charge. Okay, I may have to try those at another point, but again, please don't send me headphones if you watch this channel at all. Don't send me headphones. Because I don't review headphones really anymore. Speakers I do, I love speakers. But headphones, I just don't really do them anymore. Only because it's so hard to actually show people what headphones are like. Over a TV screen. Anyway. Oh, there's quite a few things there. What have I got? What have I got? Ooh, it's the last thing. Okay. I have the Shield Fuse Chicken and the titan fused chicken uh wow jesus christ this is supposed to be in their own words the toughest cable on earth and i must say right away they've delivered on that by just looking at it <laughs> it's like armor look at this That is metal and it's solid. What I like about that is that it's like almost like a can sort of stand it up. Look at that. I'm excited to try this out and you know I will. I will be testing the claims that this is the toughest cable on the earth. I will absolutely be testing this out. That is cool. Okay, that can go away. This one's a little bit different. They've called this ultra rugged, but it's made of chain mail instead of, well, that looks like a shower shower hose thing this one oh this is glitzy nice this is just cha this is chain mail nope nothing much lighter than that one and not as kind of like bendy but i'm so excited to try this stuff out you know me I love testing the bold claims of manufacturers one gadget at a time and I will be testing this manufacturer's stuff. So massive thanks to Fuse Chicken. I can't wait, genuinely. However, however, that's gone over there now, but some feedback, Fuse Chicken, if you're watching this video, don't use plastic in your packaging, you horrible people. You're killing the planet. Okay, that is everything 
in this month's episode. There has been a hell of a lot of stuff this month. But what has been my favourite? That is the question. I really like this. That was cool. But I don't know how relevant it is. Oh, I haven't tested these. Apologies. I haven't tested these. I said I would. Right, let's give these a go. I'll come back to that in a minute. It's in pairing mode already. So let's Okay, we're connected. So let's start off from where we were before. Oh no. Only one is connected. There doesn't appear to be any buttons either to connect this. Okay, well, sorry. Ease of use is gonna get zero because that's not paired up. Sound-wise, this one on its own, hard to tell because it's not stereo, it's just mono. But actually, if you get these to work, I think the sound might actually be okay. Probably a six out of 10, six and a half out of 10. But I can't give you a full review on the sound because I can't get that second one paired. Ugh, this sort of stuff's got to be easy to use for people. And if you can't just take it up and pair it to your phone straight away, then what is the point? Anyway, back to what I like the most. Uh, this. That was very, very good. I also really like this. That was very, very good as well. That was quite fun to use. And where is it? That, I'm super excited for this. Do you know what, and this torch, that was pretty impressive as well. <sighs> I think if this turns out to be as good as I think it's gonna turn out, I think this would win, but I haven't actually tested this out. So I think the thing that's won it for me, or the thing that I've most, I don't know, been impressed with this month was this, the Langogo. But again, I don't know how relevant this is going to be at the moment because I don't know if you can download the actual languages. But actually the speed and ease of use of this was really, really nice. And it's a nice looking device. So I think this wins this month's unboxing. What I'll do as always is leave a link in the description below so you can check everything out yourself that I've opened today. If you want to see a review of anything specific, leave a comment and let me know which one you'd like to see. And I'll certainly add that to my list of things that I'll probably try and get around to do anyway at least. And if you also want a shout out next month's unboxing and pretty much every other episode or so, don't forget to head on over to my Patreon page and subscribe over there for some cool perks and a shout out. Other than that, I hope my holy father Michael has enjoyed today and I haven't tried to complain as much and uh, tried to be a little bit more uh, respectful. See you soon. Before you go, consider supporting me on my Patreon page by clicking here. It'll give you some great discounts on stuff I've reviewed and helps me to continue doing reviews. If you want to see some fun stuff, click here to see the highlights of Stu's reviews. And as a friendly reminder, click this button to subscribe.